Hello everybody, welcome to Mastering Solutions where we're taking the stress out of your science classes. In this question, they want to know what the period, frequency, and amplitude of this air track that's sliding back and forth is. So they tell us that it's sliding back and forth between the 12 centimeter and the 55 centimeter marks. So first off, I want to know what is the equilibrium point. So if I take 55 plus 12 and then I divide that by 2. That'll tell me what the median point is between these two. And that gives me 33.5 centimeters. So right smack dab in the middle between them is 33.5. So this is where if when, when the cart finally comes to rest, it will come to rest at 33.5 centimeters. Now they say what is the period of the oscillations? And if you remember, we talked before about how the period is equal to how much time does it take us to do one oscillation. So they tell us it has 31 seconds to do 15 oscillations, which gives us a period, a period of 2.067, that's a zero, seconds, or 2.1 seconds per oscillation. Then they say, what is the frequency of the oscillations? Well, we can just take in our calculator 2.067. We could do 1 divided by that, and that would give us our answer. And we would get the same answer by taking the number of oscillations that happens in a set number of time, 31 seconds. So per second, we will have 0.484 hertz. Now they say what is the amplitude of the oscillations? So an amplitude is from the equilibrium point how far over is it going to go on either side? So we can take the absolute value of this distance or this distance. So if I do 55 minus 33.5 will give us 21.5 centimeters is our amplitude, or A. Now they say, what is the maximum speed of the glider? To do that, we're going to use the equation that's already been solved for us. V max is equal to 2 pi times the frequency times the amplitude. And we've already solved for all of those. So now we have 2 pi times the frequency, which we solve for is 0 0.484 hertz. And then we're going to multiply that by the amplitude, and we want that in meters. So instead of 21.5 centimeters, we have 0 0.215 meters. And that gives us a maximum speed of 0 0.654 meters per second. And they want that in centimeters per second. So if we move the decimal place over 2, now we get 65.4 centimeters per second as our Vmax. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe because we're coming out with more solutions for your homework problems every week. Thanks for watching.